have to admit that for like the first 10 years of doing yoga, I was one of those really annoying yoga people. I did yoga religiously every morning, Ashtanga, 6 a.m. Um, I ate organic food. Um, I really thought I was better than everybody. <laughs> um, and I have this moment, I wrote about it in a blog once, where I remember passing by a, a McDonald's and I looked inside and I saw all these poor ignorant people eating McDonald's and I made a little prayer for them. Um, I look back at that and just think how obnoxious was I being. Um, you know, I don't know if you resonate with this, but I, you know, I know when I first found yoga, I was so excited to find something that worked for me, but I was still kind of insecure about it. So I was still really invested in making sure that other people were wrong so I could feel more right for the choices I made. And yoga came along with eating a different way and with an entire belief system that I was still working out um, about how I wanted to be in the world and what was right and what was wrong. Um, and now looking back, what I see is I brought all of my habits, my perfectionism, my arrogance, my insecurity, my neuroticism, all of it came to yoga. I was doing yoga, trying to get the poses exactly right, and I had to breathe in a particular way and memorize specific mantras, and then if you knew the mantras, it would do something to you. And all of this was this sort of obsessive and neurotic need to manage and control my body. And I had simply re replaced you know, eating fat-free food and going to the gym with eating organic food and doing yoga. It was still the same uh, desire behind it, which was a need to be in control. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be in control. And for a lot of us, the world can feel overwhelming or unsafe. And the precision of a yoga practice can be really containing. What was missing for me was understanding that the yoga was a tool. And if the tool was working, hopefully I would start to feel more free. But I was latching on to the tool. It's like mistaking the boat for the shore type of thing and making it all about getting the yoga right, getting the diet right, getting my words exactly right. Um, and I actually pushed away a lot of people in my life because I was really judgmental. I was kind of a jerk. So I like to say to my students that you know your yoga is working when your relationships get better, when your life gets better. When I started asking myself, who am I being when I'm not practicing yoga? That was kind of a hard question to ask because I was not being the person I wanted to be. Um, and also started to ask myself, who am I being in my own internal world? I was still being really self-critical. So when I started to think about the yoga practice as an opportunity to actually relate with myself differently, things really changed. The yoga stopped being a performance, it stopped being a way to shape and control my body, but more a space to tolerate being with myself. And when I could tolerate being with myself, I was able to forgive myself for things, I was able to connect with parts of me that I didn't want to feel before, and then I didn't need to judge other people. The only reason I was judging everybody for being wrong was because I was worried that I was wrong, and I didn't, I didn't really like who I was. And so if I could make other people feel worse, just in my head because I was a yogi, so I would never say it out loud, I would just think it, um, I would feel better. So I like to think about how we're showing up on our mat and whatever habits we have on the mat, we have them everywhere else. So some of the habits might be perfectionism or dissociation or criticism or projection. On our yoga mat, we can have an opportunity to work with that, to go, you know what? I don't hate the teacher right now. My hips are hurting and I'm feeling angry. Let me feel that. Let me take responsibility for that. Or I don't have to do three more chaturangas. I'm going to rest. In our yoga practice, we have an opportunity to make some different choices that can interrupt patterns that keep us disconnected from ourselves and others. So I'll say it again. You know your yoga is working when your relationships and your life is getting better.